Hey guys, after the claims by the federal government of Nigeria that the Finnish government is processing Simon Ekba's extradition back to Nigeria, Asari Dukubo, a former Niger Delta warlord, have reacted. He said, I will fish out Simon Ekba the way I fished out in Namdekano. I won them, but they did not believe. But when it happened, everybody was surprised. Nobody thought that Mazim Namdekano would be arrested. But I made that happen. And I'm still telling them again, I will still make this happen. Biafra friends, Biafra agitators in the Southeast is finished. There is nothing like Biafra. Nigeria will remain one. This is coming from um this is coming from uh, Asari Dukubo, the former Niger Delta militant. Well, there is something I believe you know they do here in Nigeria. Once the government is benefiting you, you will make sure yeah, you hold the government very tight and all that. So since he has tradited according to him. So since he made it possible for Nigerian government to kidnap uh, Namdi Kano from Kenya, so what has happened? Has it changed anything? Has the corruption in Nigeria ended? Has the killings by the Fulani headsmen has it ended? Has the destruction everywhere in Nigeria has it ended? Has it ended the um, the Boko Haram attacks in the northern part of the country? Has it changed anything? That is a question. Mazen Namdekano is a victim of all these problems in Nigeria. You get, so it's not what someone will just come and be using to boast of. You understand? Namdekano is not the problem. Simon Ekba was given birth by the federal government of Nigeria. And so also they will have so many of them in the southeast if care is not taken. All these extradit, this, Simonet Bak, Paramana, Simonaka, Criminal, this, this, and that. What's, what is the root of all these problems? They are not talking about it. The federal government of Nigeria just they hurry, extradite Simonet Bak back. And I love the, the, you know, the answer that was given to them by the Finnish government. He says, see, eh, this matter, when I don't complain about this matter before, is already in court. We they work according to court proceedings. You understand? We go according to rules of law. We know they act anyhow. So you cannot just tell us extradite Simon Ekba back to Nigeria. Boom. Simon Ekba is back to Nigeria. No, everything is according to you know rule of law. And that's make them different from this country. That is the difference between them and Nigeria. You don't do anyhow. Even if you feel that Simon Ekpa is a threat to you and he's a criminal like the way they address him. You hear, you heard what they said. We can't just extradite him. We are looking into this matter. You get. So even now, the one that is talking about, uh, he will fish out uh, Simon Ekpa the way he fished out um, Namdi Kano, who is currently in the DSS uh, custody. All these ones is just making mouth. You get, it's just, it's just all bragging. It's all bragging. You get, it's just bragging. This is the same person who was talking about President Bola met in the government the other day. When Nigerian protesters warn them, say me cannot come outside, they go deflate you know, in stomach. The next thing, you know, he, he like going to Facebook and start talking, talking, talking. He said he did not stop. He did not ask anybody not to protest. So he was just trying, you know, to to stop anarchy. Who are, who are those creating the anarchy in the country? Who are those even preparing for it? Is it not the same people who are uh, inviting counter protesters? We need to learn sense in this country. See, my question is, what are they doing consigning the, you know, those issues being raised by Inamdi Kano in the Southeast, being raised 
by Simon and Eba because two of them, they are saying the same thing. You want to persecute these people. You want to do this. You want to finish them. Just like that controversial bee. They say, say the, the, the bee, you know, you don't see the, 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 the light of the day now. They don't withdraw. People have right to speak up. When things are not normal, you understand? You cannot keep on caging people. So instead of using all the strength to look for how to bring Simon and Eba back to Nigeria, they should, they should also use all that strength to, you know, settle, settle the issues in the Southeast. I am saying this again, and Asari de Kubo should understand this. If the issue in the Southeast region is not dissolved, it's not resolved by the Nigerian government, if you still get Simon Ekba tomorrow, another Simon Ekba will rise, another Mnandi Kanu will rise, so this thing is going to go from decades to decades, generations to generations. That is how it is going to be. Don't also forget that uh, this Asari Dokubo is one of the Biafran's agitators. When they give her money like this, it will change. That is what is what we see in Nigeria. Today, this person is saying about this government, oh, this government is bad, this is and that. The next day, you go hear the person, this government... He's the best government so far in the history of Nigeria. So which one we go even follow? What exactly is going on in this country? I better make a drop on for you. Eh? Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.